Welcome back to part two of this series where we use parts by mass in calculations. We left off with the following question, which reads, what mass of sucrose in grams is contained in 355 milliliters, equivalent to 12 ounces, of a soft drink that is 11.5% sucrose by mass? And we have to assume that the density is 1.04 grams per milliliter. This question is very similar to that of question one, except that in question number one, they wanted the volume, whereas here they want the mass. Let's begin by writing this out as a ratio per 100 grams of solution. So 11.5 grams of sucrose per 100 grams of solution make 11.5%. The next thing that I'll do is multiply this ratio by the density, because by doing that, the units can cancel out, leaving us with milliliters. Remember what we're looking for here. We're looking for the mass of sucrose at the very end. So I will write this out as 1.04 grams over one milliliter. And by doing this, this gram unit and this gram of solution unit cancels out. Remember, I'm multiplying these. And this leaves us with grams per milliliter. By multiplying this now by a factor of 355 milliliters, this unit and this unit will cancel out, leaving us with the desired number grams of sucrose. Let's go ahead and use our calculator. 1.04 times 11.5 times 355 divided by 100. This tells us that we have 42 0.458 grams of sucrose, and we need this to three significant figures. 42.5 grams of sucrose is found in this 12 ounce can of soft drink. Let's move on to question number three. For this last question we're asked, a water sample contains the pollutants chlorobenzene with a concentration of 15 ppb by mass. What volume of this water contains 5.00 times 10 to the power of 2 milligrams of chlorobenzene. To do this problem, we have to understand first what PPB means. It's parts per billion. And there's a conversion ratio between parts per billion and milligrams per liter. And it's shown right here. One part per billion is equal to 0.001 milligrams per liter. So with that being said, we can actually now go ahead and convert 15 parts per billion into milligrams per liter. And there's a reason why I'm doing this. I'll explain right after this. So 15 parts per billion is equal to how many equivalent milligrams per milliliter? Well, this is a simple proportion problem. We can cross multiply, where we end up with, eventually after solving for x, you end up with 0.015 milligrams per liter. Now recall that the formula for density is mass over volume. And this is a mass and this is a volume. So I can write this now into here, 0.015 over, and let's write the units down for clarity, is equal to a mass, we have a mass of 500 milligrams. Remember this is in scientific notation, I'm just rewriting it out without that. And remember, this has to be two significant figures long, our final answer. Because this is two and this is three, we take the smaller of the two. And we're looking for the volume. So we have one liter here and we have unknown liters here. That's our volumes, just a placeholder, a variable. Let's solve for V. We cross multiply once again, and we end up with V being equal to 500 divided by 0.015. Dividing these out, let's use our calculator, 500 divided by 0.015 gives us 33,333.3 repeating liters. And remember, we want this to two significant figures. So we have 33 represented as 3.3 times 10 to the power of four liters. So you need this many liters of water and that concentration of the pollutant to end up with 500 milligrams of chlorobenzene. And there you have it. That is how to use parts by mass in calculations.